One of the most common things these days for both men and women is a condition known as estrogen dominance. And estrogen dominance occurs when the human body is overexposed to estrogens. Now estrogens are important in the human body in a normal balanced level. They help to ha have everything operate in a state of balance. However, when you're exposed to too many estrogens, either through food or uh, the exertion of uh, influence on uh, endo endocrine disrupting chemicals in the body, uh, these things can start to lead to this state of estrogen dominance, which can lead to excess weight gain, bloating, being moody and having all sorts of mood swings, uh, but it can also be a very potent anti-thyroid influence on your body, which slows your metabolism down. In general, it's a negative feedback loop that's gonna make you feel worse and worse and worse the higher your estrogen levels get out of control. So, I thought I'd put together a helpful video about three things that you can do right now to actively lower the influence of estrogen in your body. Now the first one is to figure out what are estrogenic foods that you're consuming and start to eliminate those from your diet for the time being, uh, even forever. Some people can go forever without eating these things. Now there are some really common ones like factory farm meats because uh, the, the animals are actually treated at these factory farms, they're treated with estrogens to make them produce more milk or to make them fatter. So the, the farmers can sell them and the meat industry can sell them at a higher, at a higher price because we, we buy meat by the pound, right? So something like that. There's also things that people don't know about like flax seeds. They contain a lot of lignans which are highly estrogenic. Uh, beans, legumes, highly estrogenic. Also goitrogenic, which is anti-thyroid. Actually, they lower and slow your metabolism down. So there's things like this that exert, these foods like this that exert this estrogenic influence on your body that you need to get rid of actively in your life. You know, hops from beer, soy, those sort of things, they all exert an estrogenic influence. So first step is to lower your influence from estrogenic foods. Now second step is to consume what's called a methylator. Now estrogen molecules in the body can be methylated when the presence of a methyl donor is there. So, uh, for example, choline and betaine are two very, very, very potent um, estrogen methylators. They will move that ex extra uh, methylated estrogen out of the body. They'll help you get rid of it. And they're also really affordable, which is awesome. Betaine also has wide reaching positive effects on the body, helps create hydrochloric acid in the stomach, which a, a good level of stomach acid is required for a, a nice balance of the body. And choline has effects from helping your liver to helping your brain to helping your metabolism. It's extremely helpful, not only for methylating estrogen. Now, the third thing that you can actively do to work against this excess estrogen is actually increase your androgen production because really the effects on the body that happen between estrogen and androgens all come down to the androgen to estrogen ratio. Now, the problem with most people is that they let the excess estrogen run rampant. So their androgen levels become lower and lower and lower while their estrogen levels become higher. So you see that the androgen to estrogen ratio gets way out of whack. If you can lower your estrogen while increasing your androgen levels naturally, what you're gonna find is that your state of health comes back into balance. You start to feel much better. You feel more focused. You drop that extra weight and that extra body fat and you're just gonna feel more energetic in general. So those are three things that you can do to actively lower your estrogen levels on a daily basis. Now, if this was helpful to you and you think that there's somebody else out there, whether it be a family, uh, family member or a friend or a coworker, someone that you wanna share this information with, maybe they suffer from excess estrogen symptoms or maybe they have gynecomastia and they need to lower the, the estrogen levels for that or, or any other reason, brain fog, depression, anxiety, these are all symptoms of high estrogen in the human body. If you know somebody right now, tag them in the comments below or share this with them on Facebook or YouTube. And I am happy you're here. Check out Truth Nutra. We have tons more information and great all natural products for anyone. See you on the next video.